Oh, he's a good boy. Who would have thought? A little orphan kid from North Philly. My seven-year-old self would not have believed. It was Dr. Monique Gary's seven-year-old self that ignited her mission of health and healing. This is what people need. You know, when you don't feel well and your spirit is unsettled, you need a place to come. We traveled to Percocy, Pennsylvania to meet the breast surgical oncologist and learn more about her farmhouse retreat, Still Rise Farm, that inspired her Good Souls nomination. Dr. Gary is a good soul because she thinks outside of herself. It's a blessing when someone can use privilege and see it as an opportunity to help others. What is this place? What does okay. it mean for you? When a person gets diagnosed with cancer, I am then the person that helps them to get to a better state of wellness. And part of that is, is being the director, it's being the surgeon, it's doing the technical thing of removing the cancer. But so much more of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is really helping people to figure out how to live a better life in spite of this diagnosis. The third question that patients ask me after, am I gonna die and do I need chemotherapy? is what should I be eating? What should I be doing? How should I be living? How can I live a more holistic, healthy life? Mm -hmm. And I began to explore this early in my career because it just kept coming up. Oh, wow, okay. This is, yeah. So I set out on this journey to learn more about these things and I said, I'm going to develop a space that's gonna serve as a living, learning laboratory for this. Oh wow, so these are like so you real see, stables. You see stables. I see cabins, right? I met Dr. Monique Gary uh, several years ago doing work in the breast cancer community. Um, some of the traditional ways, once we met and we became friends and started doing some uh, projects together, and she told me about an idea that she's had since she was a little girl to start a retreat where women who have been in treatment for breast cancer could heal. The seed that was planted in you came out of something sad. Tell us about it. This job mm -hmm. chose me. Um, when I was seven years old, uh, my mother got very sick and she died within a year before her 30th birthday. She was 29 with two girls. And all we knew at the time was that she was really sick. And then we started to hear the word cancer being whispered. Mm. And who is this? Oh my goodness. This is, so this is my grandmother. This is my grandmother. And then when I was about um, 12 years old, my grandmother got breast cancer. And she ultimately died 30 years later from heart failure. You know, mm -hmm. like she lived to be almost 90 years old. It impacts everything I do and the way I run my program. Wow. I began looking for this farm about um, now three years ago. And I went all through the region looking for a place that had enough room for retreats for integrative wellness for cancer patients. In one year, I have managed to unpack the boxes. I've managed to keep the lights on. I've managed to find a, a way to begin to develop this space to help cancer patients live better lives. And that's where you are, Still Rise Farm. So you have, you know, wedding. Well, when she told me that she had bought a farm, I didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And uh, then she had planned um, a weekend retreat. We had about 12 women here who all were facing a diagnosis of metastatic breast cancer. And so we wanted to offer them components of wellness, including mindfulness and meditation. So we did that in the morning. We had a yoga instructor come. We had a friend of mine who's a therapist who wrote a book come and do a book signing and she led us through guided meditations. Uh, we had some Tai Chi. We had a cooking demonstration. I am a good soul and I'm giving myself some grace because I've only been here a year and I'm not a farmer by trade. I'm a surgeon by trade and by training. And I have to now learn all of these things and build network and build community. And, and I'm looking at that as the fun part. That's not a challenge anymore, but that's the opportunity mm -hmm. to really grow where I'm planted because this is where I'm, I'm planting and growing roots. Hi, I'm Shirley Mann. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.